You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex, and we've got your calls on the line. We're going to be going to those in just a couple of minutes. Mark Kelly, former astronaut, testifies in favor of gun control and then goes shooting. And this was reported by Lars Larson, radio host. He noticed that the Portland police had tweeted out a photo of him shooting at their target range right after he had testified for more gun control in the Oregon legislature. Now, of course, when he supported this expansion of the background checks, this is uh, from Breitbart, as a means of stopping crime, State Senator Betsy Close countered by asking if Jared Lochner had passed a background check before carrying out his heinous attack on then Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford, Giffords in January of 2011. Actually, he did pass a background check. These are simply harassments. They're infringements on our rights to keep and bear arms. They don't stop any crime. The real root cause of this is the drug war and these dangerous SSRI prescription drugs. Let's go to our callers here. We've got Jalen in Alabama. Jalen, do you want to weigh in on this? Oh, we just missed her, I guess. <laughs> nope, she's still there. Does it? Is she still there? Well, let's go to Chris in Kentucky. Chris, are you there? Hello, Dave. Hey, how you doing? Uh, great. You know, this uh, AK-47, uh, about a year ago at this time in Jackson County, Kentucky, we had a sheriff that was on it with Alex Jones on the nightly news interview a year ago. Sheriff Danny Pyman is one of the most patriot sheriffs that I've ever seen in this state because he doesn't care if you have an AR-15 or an AK-47 because if you got a bunch of thugs, there's 60 people or more rushing to, at, at your farmhouse, whatever, I love that saying, you better have it to protect your family because they cannot be there. That's right. That's right. It is such a fact. That's the kind of sheriffs we need in this in this country. Denny Pyman, I tell you what, I I, I think I'll move there because <laughs> when I heard him being interviewed, I want to be a free man. I want a man that stands on the county for his freedom, and that's what we need in this country. Absolutely, but we've been so indoctrinated with this fear mongering. Oh, the cell phones are going to save you. The NSA is going to save you. You need to be tracked everywhere you go because the big government's your friend. That's the problem. We've got to start educating the young people now. Dave, I used to be a liberal, socialist-minded person, anti-gun, but when I've seen the changes in the early 1990s, when I began to see things changing, when I found Alex Jones and researched all this, this changed me big. This, this is an empire that we've got to get on the run, and now let's get, the, you know, get this country back. Well, absolutely, and just as we pointed out on Friday, we have a very vulnerable, very fragile infrastructure. It could be taken away by sabotage. It could be taken away just by, by uh, a, a, an aging infrastructure. And so we have to be able to protect ourselves. We have to be able to protect our families. And one of the things that I keep thinking about is the, the Hurricane Katrina in L.A. and that scene where the sheriff gets on and says, nobody will have guns. We're going to take all the guns away. And you've got a lot of people who are disarmed. I, you've got the pictures of the... The elderly lady who was knocked on the ground as they took away her guns, went into her house and took away her guns. People who were not bothering anybody, who were just protecting themselves, staying with their family inside of their house. And our government went door to door to disarm these people and leave them at the mercy of who knows what. So, yeah, it's a very, very, very concerning thing. And we need to stand with the sheriffs, as you point out. Thank you, Thank you Chris. Let's go to Peachy in Alabama. Peachy. Hey. Hey, how you doing, Dave? This is a peachy from FEMA Region 2, <laughs> Jersey. Hey, how you doing? All oh, right. Okay. Hey, I just want to say, these pigs are out of control. I mean, the government, the police, I'm in Jersey. We, we have to start exercising our Second Amendment right. I mean, I don't want this crap that's happening over in New York. It's going to come over here. That's right. We, we, need, we need an even playing ground. I'm not saying we got to be violent or nothing, but... A gun is basically a backup stick. I see you with one or you see me with one. Hey, we, we're going to have that mutual respect. Yes. These people who have the guns and these costumes are the ones going out of control and beating people down and, and killing them. I like Ariz, uh, Arizona's laws. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling it. Yeah, that's something to be very concerned about. It's the militarization of the police, as I pointed out. We've got a federal government that is going feral. 
We've sent them abroad in war after war after war, and now they're militarizing here domestically, preparing for war against us, talking about us being civilians and boots Alex on the ground. Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the Life Straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR Hand Crank Generator, to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand Crank Shortwave AM FM Radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I am sworn upon the altar of God. Eternal to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Now, this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com is the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. The food's delicious, easy to prepare, and you can it's put together with GMO-free crops, storable for up to 25 years. The globalists are counting on you to be unprepared. Fight back. Get prepared at mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex today. Now, we've got some callers on the line. We've been talking about the revelation from the Poughkeepsie mayor who said that he and 50 other mayors have left Bloomberg's group because they realize that the agenda is a full-out confiscation. It's not about taking guns away from felons. It's about confiscating the guns of law-abiding citizens who have a natural right that has been respected in the Constitution in the Second Amendment. I want to take your calls and get your feedback on it. AMG in Alabama, what do you think about this issue? Good evening. Hey. Um, sorry about this. I was actually calling about the sniper attack that was released a few days ago. Okay, yes. On the uh, power uh, structure, on the, on the uh, transformers in Silicon yeah. Valley. Yes, go ahead. Well, I was calling... To say that I respectfully disagree with the analysis that it's a false flag. Okay. And why? Because you're miss because they're missing a patsy. The you don't plan a false flag that makes the government look bad. You plan a false flag that's going to make the government look good in any cap capacity. Mm -hmm. right. Without a patsy, it just look all the only message it's going to say is, hey, the. The NSA, the police state cannot even protect its own infrastructure, much less you. Well, that's why we talked about it. You know, not all false flags are directed at the public. Sometimes false flags are directed at the law, at law enforcement. Sometimes they're directed at members of Congress. Sometimes they're just trying to get law enforcement hyped up to think that there's a, a much larger threat than there really is. So they'll be more abusive so that maybe they won't really care about following the law or the constitutional procedures or due process, but they'll, they'll be eager to do whatever the government bids them to do. At the time this was happening, there was a debate in Congress back in April about CISPA. And of course, that's cybersecurity, but it was all about infrastructure. And infrastructure was a big part of it. So what we're saying is, is that that could have been something that was done to get people uh, online on board with CISPA at the time that that was happening, people in Congress. But what looks suspicious to us about this 
is that it was put out as a vandalism charge, even though it was very, very carefully planned. They took out these transformers without blowing them up. They had obviously spotted this area prior to that. They even went underground and cut phone lines. So it was very careful how they had, they were very carefully planned, very carefully executed. But then it was also pulled back. And now the concern is, and it may be just that this one guy was looking at it and thinking that, well, nothing has happened. Nobody's really talking about it. But uh, the fellow who was the former chairman of the FERC has now come public with this and said, this is not an act of vandalism. Clearly, it was not simply an act of vandalism. So the question is, was it real terrorists or was it an inside false flag? Or are they preparing us for some kind of a false flag in the future? Do you disagree? Um, not entirely. I go with the real terrorism because it's too carefully planned to neglect the patsy if there's a false flag. Now, if it turns out that they... Patsy was made to disappear under NDAA, and that comes out later, then yes, it's probably a false flag, and I'll eat my hat then. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. Yeah, typically with a false flag, they typically come out right away, they've got a suspect. Right away, they've got a lone gunman. Right away, they try to panic the public about this. And so that in and of itself was interesting, but we do understand that not all false flags are necessarily directed at the public at that time. And so that's our concern about it. Thank you so much. Let's talk to uh, Spence in Missouri. Spence, what's your take on gun control? Can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry, I've been driving, so I'm on my cell phone. Uh, you know, it's, uh, thank goodness for y'all's show. About two years ago, I got woken up, and uh, I've tried several times. I sent you some letters and uh, sent you uh, some emails to Alex trying to reach him. Because this problem that we have is almost like a duck, a one-legged duck swimming in a circle. You know, it's uh, <laughs> uh, we all know about this problem. Everybody that listens to the show is not from the other side. You know, we're let's say that we're 20 percent, 25 percent of us out here that are listening to the show. We know these problems. We go to work day by day, understanding, feeling this in our heart, and we just don't know what to do about it. And the letters I've written to Alex was pertaining to doing, you know, the proper marketing and trying to do what the globalists have been successful doing, and that is copying, mimicking what they've done uh, by, by doing the type of marketing that they've done. We could do it very easily with just the people that are listening right now, and that is, you know, in your area, if you had... I know that there's info warriors that are out there. I know there's people that, that believe like we all believe. But, you know, if it's, we've got to, if you took Fox News, for an example, they've got different satellite offices in different states. And inside those states, they've got their own in every county, basically. So what I'm saying is we need to market this thing to get to the people because all of the people in this country, you can't tell me that they don't still have the fundamentals deep down inside and want freedom and justice and liberty for all. We've all got to band together, and we have to learn how to do that banding. And if it's printing out uh, flyers and going to the post office or going to the local place, where the most people end up going every day to to hand these flyers out to to get the to get this country really aware of what's going on, then the globalists will never survive this. There's no well, that's absolutely that true. Can. You need to talk to your friends and neighbors, and we're trying to do everything we can in every venue that we go. We got the Infowars.com website. We have Prison Planet TV, where we have the nightly news. We're getting ready to roll that out to local television stations and major markets. We've got magazines. We're trying to do everything we can, We're producing documentaries. There are YouTube videos. If you get a subscription, you can pass that out to 10 other people, Prison Planet TV. So you can forward the news to 10 other people, and the subscription's not that expensive. So there's a lot that you can do to just pass our information around. And of course, other people are putting this stuff out as well. The key thing is that it's an information war. It's been an information war quite some time, and 
The other side is using it as propaganda, just like the clip that we played earlier from Eric Holder. Eric Holder, he, he admitted that it's propaganda. They need to brainwash people. We're not trying to brainwash people. We're trying to present the truth to them. And we get it out as soon as we see.